Christmas is just around the corner Coming up just around the bend Holiday couldn't be here sooner Holiday for family and friends And we've got pine tree, pine cone, evergreen mistletoe, candy cane and Santa Claus Gingerbread woman and a gingerbread man in a gingerbread house and all Hi guys, welcome to the vlog <gasps> This is my dad. What is that? Thanks, a shirt for an order I thought it looked Christmassy. Put yeah. a little, add a little Christmas tree on it. Yeah. Add a snowflake on it. Maybe snowflake, yeah. iridescent snowflake. Yeah, I don't think the green would really. Well, if you did the green in that. Blue. In that bluey green, I think it'd look awesome. Say hey guys. So it's three eleven right now. I got a little helper. I got two helpers. I decided I was going to put together my other garland. To go up there. That girl. Dang! I wanna help. So, uh, you gonna help, Mama? Here. We got our zip ties. The thing about this is I'm going to have to sweep because this thing needs a mess. So this is the pre-lit garland. It's nine foot. It comes with a few um, attached pine cones. What do you think is a good little... Hey! The cat is trying to eat this. Let it alone! Boo! Stop. <laughs> Tell her no, no. Journey, tell her no, no. So we don't do stuff like that, boo. Sterling, your cat's trying to eat. What is she doing? Sterling! What? Your cat's taking off with zip ties. We'll chase her down. What is she doing? Get it, Journey. Get it from cat. Get it from boo. Go get it. Journey, get that from boo. Tell her no, no. Here, put it in the bag so she can't get it. Put it in here. That way Kitty can't get it. Uh-oh, we lost the end. Two little bobble right there. Right here, look. Lost the end. Okay, anyway, so we're going to... First, we're going to straighten this thing out. Okay, so the first thing that I do um, is I unravel this whole thing because I want it to be... Um, even throughout the whole thing, I want to use, I don't even remember how much is on this thing, this whole roll of 15 foot and my 9 foot piece of garland. So, um, if you have longer garland, of course, you'll probably need more, if you, you know. So, and I'm going to do one side and I'm going to do the end and then I'm going to go through in the middle and do them and... Um, I don't have a tripod. Let me try to set you on my knee and just kind of show you. And it's not going to balance. Got uneven knees here. So I just take the end and I just kind of cuff it, put it together like this. And then I find an end on my garland. And I just take two of the pieces that don't have lights on them, which is usually kind of hard to find. And I just cross them. Paint your toenails. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yes. And I just cross them. And then that's all I do. This one actually had a light on it. It'll be okay, just as long as it's holding in place. So that's all I do, 
And then I'll do the end one as well. And then I'll randomly take pieces and then just do that all throughout the whole piece of garland. So let's do this one down here. So I've got some started here. I just did like three and then I did one down here. And I'm just going to go back and forth and kind of do it. And oh, let me set you on my knee if it'll work. Come on. Here, Strum, hold us. Oh, you're eating now. It's already in her pajamas. What's the deal? Here, just film this part. I'm just going to show how I... So I like to try to lay it kind of flat because when I do it, I want it to be facing out. So. And then I just make a little hoopty hoo to find a good spot. And I try not to do it with, with the lights. The one that I don't have. I just cross them over. That's all I do. Okay, hold on. Make sure this is not twisted. It might be twisted down there. Hmm. We got pine cone here. I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, I'm gonna leave that pine cone out. Okay, so I got them. It all on there. This is what it looks like. And now I'm going to first place my pulling setas, which I'm going to kind of because we've got them kind of evenly spaced there. So I'm gonna start with a red because I left them with a silver up there. So I'm gonna start with the red. Make sure I got this that's gonna plug into that end. Yeah, okay. So I got them placed on here, and now, where'd the bobbles go? <laughs> oh, there they are. What the bobble? What the bobble? So I'm just going to add this whole bucket, which there's 26 ornaments. I hope I have 26 zip ties, let's see. Um, I don't know, possibly. And I'm just going to zip tie them on with these little zip ties. You think I have 26 zip ties in here? I'm not using the big ones. We will find out. We got one lonely. But I don't have anything to put in it. We got one lonely bobble left. I don't have a thing. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Um. Like, you can cut these, but I just don't. I'm lazy. I'm like, uh. When it's all up there, you don't even notice them anyway. Just kind of tuck them in. Here we go. I used all but one, since I can't find the end. I'll go ahead and put it up there. It is now like almost six o'clock, 5.52. Um, I just called my husband. I'm not gonna cook today. Um, I've cooked all week. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn you around and talk to you for a minute. So, so yesterday we just had tacos. What did we have the day before that? Oh, we went out to eat at Fuji, yeah, because uh, I had to go. <laughs> Is that one I had to go? Yeah, we were gonna go to Walmart and when we have to go somewhere when my husband gets off work, I know I explained this before, but um, it's just easier for us just to go. That way we're not getting home so late because we're homebodies. I mean, we don't stay out past nine o'clock, 
ever really so <laughs> um she's totally got a sticker in her hair anyway so i have one of those one of my quick meals i was going to do um yeah we had let's see what did we have we had lasagna We had tacos last night. We had Fuji the night before. We had lasagna the day before that. What did we have before that? No, we had nachos. We had chicken nachos. And then lasagna was the day before that. And then Saturday. I did end up cooking Saturday too. Anyway. I just have a hard time remembering what we eat for dinner every night. You know I'm the one cooking it. Ugh. So I bought this dress for Sterling off from Children's Place. Now the problem with Sterling is that these dresses, because she's so tall, these are um, getting short on her. And everything else fits her. Ugh, I shouldn't say everything else. A lot of things fit her from Children's Place. Um, Trying to pull it up. This dress is like the biggest dress they have, which is size 16. It's called extra, extra large, size 16. You know, the problem we have is that they're always so short on her. So my solution was this. I just added a roll of this thick lace that I have from Hobby Lobby. I've got like two or three more rolls. But I actually used this on a ribbon trim set that I made. And I haven't made that ribbon trim set in a while. So um, my solution was to add this. Just adds a little bit of length to the bottom. I mean, it's see-through, but, you know, it still adds that. But I was telling her what would be a good idea. And I'm going to see if they have any more of these because these were on Mega Clip. Dang it. I think they're sold out. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so this dress right now is... Five ninety eight, seventy percent off. It is super pretty. So I told her, um, if we took, if we got another dress, let's see, all I got is this size. So if we got another dress like this, and I took this dress apart, or the other dress, at the seam right here at the waist, and then took like I don't know a band about that big off the other dress and added it here and then sewed this to the bottom of it and sewed you know the top to the top part so it'd have like a little extra band in the middle of it and then maybe take some more of this fabric you know because there's gonna be more left over and then made like a little bow and attached it to the middle on the little band that I add so there's going to be an extra little band right here. And we just put a little bow, you know, a little fabric bow made out of the fabric. And then we could even make like a headband to match it. Right? Yeah. I just think that would, you know. And then, I mean, overall, we're not spending like what, how much? 12 bucks for a dress because it was $5.98. And she has... A dress that she can wear for a while because it'll be extra long uh, and you know a headband and whatnot it's just oh yes um I used to do it with uh, outfits from Walmart I would find an embroidery design that I liked an applique and um they have the little they're not granimals but they're the I guess Wonder Nations now, but they have their little shirts and the coordinating shirts and the capri pants and, you know, the colors and stuff that go together. So I would buy like the blank, the blank shirts, like let's say it was a blue shirt and it had a floral. I wish I had a picture of the outfits I made you. Um, there's one where I took two pair of capri pants. One I used for fabric in the applique on the shirt, and it was like a sand bucket. And then I ended up chain taking, cause I just used like the bottom of the capri pants to do it. And then I changed, 
use the capri pants and turn them into shorts. So she had a shirt that matched the capri pants with embroidery and then um, our applique, same thing, right? Almost. Um, and then she had shorts or capri pants that she could wear with it. So but anyway, so they got these or she got that dress. They didn't have the same dress for Journey. And Journey's dress is somewhere down here. I don't know where it is. And then I got these ones where they got matching dresses. And I will add some lace to this one. I could do the same with this with adding the, the little extra. And I thought about appliquing something like a snowflake or something. Y'all know I have these great, wonderful, big ideas that I can never execute because I never have time. <sighs> but that's... I'm a dreamer! But we had to go to Target today. I had to pick up some more onesies. 18 month long sleeve and 9 month long sleeve. Got those. Um, the real reason I had to order from Children's Place was not for the dresses, but for this shirt. But while I was there, I was like, oh, I'll pick these up. Um, I had a person order a size 7 8 black. And this is a 7 8 black. So, and yeah. I'm going to get some work done. The next morning. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. A large ice dark road. Yes, just caramel swirl. We're at Dunkin' Donuts. There you go. Um, two strawberry frosty sprinkled donuts and one coffee roll. And you said one coffee? Coffee roll. roll. You got the two. Every twelve to ten. Thanks. Somebody bought us a coffee. I don't remember your name, but I, it was just like one name. Like it was. I'll have Anon. To look. Anon. Is that what it was? Was it Anon? I don't know. I don't remember. Anonymous. <laughs> it was A N O N. Maybe it was. Maybe it was supposed to be an honest. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> but thank you. You bought us like 10 coffees. Because <clears throat> they're like, on the, on the Ko-Fi website, it's like you could buy one coffee and it's three bucks and it goes through PayPal and after you, you know, after PayPal takes their money, you get like two dollars and something. But they bought like 10. So it was like 30 bucks. So thank you. And I did, I had no idea because I went, I bought, I had to order a shirt from Blank's Boutique. I needed a long sleeve ruffle shirt and their, chip, their shipping is cheaper because I only needed one shirt. Their shipping is cheaper? Yeah, their shipping is cheaper for one shirt. It's like, I think it was like four bucks or something like that. Um, or if I ordered from ARB Blank's, their shipping is $7.95. So I'd have to pay $7.95 for shipping on top of the shirt. So I ended up spending like 10 something for the shirt, which sucks, but I needed it. And then, um, yeah, and then what happens? And then what happened? I don't know. Where was I going with this? I don't know, but that's not, um... Oh, so I paid for it out of my PayPal, thinking it was coming out of my bank account. And then I had to order... Um, some other shirts it turned out from Blanks Boutique or from A or B Blanks and had I known I would have just ordered it with that and saved money but and then when I ordered it it was like you have this much in your PayPal you want to use that and I was like how do I have money in my PayPal account so then yeah so thank you and I don't know who's making my latte so it's probably gonna taste like boo boo crap hey guys so it is a day. <laughs> I'm downstairs. I just came down here. I gotta make some straps because I gotta make some tutus to go with orders before and then I'll have to take them to the post office. It's 134. The post office is clear currently closed. They close from 1 to 2. Um, but I won't be done. I mean, I'm hoping I'm done before 4 and can take them at 4. If not, I'll have to go to the other post office and they close at 4 30 um so but i'm just gonna i got um some glitter vinyl from micro world 
they were out. I need turquoise, like, desperately. Um, I do have some turquoise. I have a whole roll of turquoise, but let me just show you. The one I've been using is this color. It's a little bit thicker than this. I prefer this. Um, it's a little bit thicker. This is the stuff from Micro World, so it's thinner. And the coloring, it probably, it's not going to show up on the vlog but in real life this is just really maybe far away you can tell it's just really a real deep deep turquoise color so got journey down here i just took her down i'm making her some ramen noodles not the best lunch today um our refrigerator is i don't know it's gone out something's wrong with it it wasn't getting cool the little thing was all frozen over so right now we're defrosting it, and so we had to go to Papa's house, um, had to go take the turkey down there, which I planned on pulling it out of the refrigerator tomorrow, or out of the freezer to um, thaw tomorrow. So I just told my husband, I was like, just to get, you know, in his um, fridge, because he didn't have a lot of freezer space, and he, I mean, he, he had enough to put a majority of our stuff, but we didn't want to take up like his whole refrigerator. <laughs> Uh, so a lot of things we just threw away because obviously like our, there was some like barbecue sauce and anyway, I hear the toilet running. That's what I was going to say, but I got a thread order. Man, they seal these boxes up. I tell you what, I ordered from All Stitch. Uh, they had pretty much everything I needed in the um, big spools so which is good a lot of times um, like certain colors that I need like the hot pink I use a lot of and the yellow that I use um, they don't have in big spools they have them in little ones so I just rather order from some other place that I can get everything I need in the big spools that makes me hard stuff So I needed pink. I couldn't work on anything yesterday that had pink in it. And this is the pink that I use. Let me find it. It is 1921 is the color I use. Um, oh, it's probably on here. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell you what color. So that... Um, I am almost out of green, and this is the green that I like, and it is 1746, and, um, I knew I'd need white eventually. I still actually got quite a bit, but with, like, Christmas and those designs, you know, you use a lot of white, especially for Santa Clauses and such. Um, I needed more gold. This is the gold, which is 12 70. For some reason, this one looks a little bit more, I don't know, I guess it is, it, but it's like a real shiny, I think this one is um, rayon. 1270, yeah, this one is rayon, so that's um, a little more, like, different, obviously. <clears throat> and then I needed a red for Christmas. This color is 1838. The color I have up there is not this color. This color I have down over here. And anyway, I just thought it would look more Christmassy than the color I was using. So, um, And then I needed black. Now, recently I went, not recently, but he, I went and bought the black. I forgot what it's called. And I've been using that in this machine, but to me, it seems like the thread breaks a lot and frays a lot with that thread. Um, I don't know if it's just that thread. I don't know. That's the stuff that came from the long mills, whatever, whatever it's called. <laughs> Over there near Charlotte. Um, called Exquisite. Um, and then this, I am almost completely out of as well. 
or getting really low. I use lavender, this shade of lavender a lot, which is 1711. So all these threads are all threads. I'm not gonna open my white yet, I don't need it. I'm not gonna open the gold yet, I don't need it. I did open my purple, I have my black, my red, cause it's a different red, and my pink, cause I need my pink, and my green is almost out, so. These are all just replacement colors, especially needed pink. Um, and the total was, um, 65.93. I bought two, four, six, seven rolls. Um, this was 10.99. The rayon was 10.99. All the other ones were 7.95, and then the white is 6.85. We're gonna go to. I needed to go to Walmart. I needed a long sleeve 12 month onesie. Yesterday at Target, they were out of them, so. I was like, okay, we'll go there and I'll just get the Gerber because, you know, I have to have something. And so we went there and they didn't have any. So my husband has to go to work and I'm like, crap, I got to make this. It's a Thanksgiving one. Technically, I think they ordered on a Saturday or Sunday so it would ship out Monday. But I want to get it like shipped out like tomorrow so that way I don't have to hear anybody complain or fuss that, hey, I didn't get this in time or, you know. If there's a hiccup at the mail that, you know, it's, they still get it in time. So, um, my husband's like, we got the thing going on with the refrigerator. The refrigerator's broke. We don't know what we're going to do there. Thanksgiving's coming up. Um, right now we're just defrosting it to see if it helps. There might be a fan that's out. We don't know. We're not refrigerator repair people. Um, our friend can probably help, um, because he, he's a maintenance man. He works on a lot of things, like, stuff like that. So, I don't know. Will we need a new refrigerator? I don't know. My husband said something about buying a little tiny one to stick down here. And for now, just use that until... But then we got Thanksgiving coming on, you know. <laughs> but, in the end, I told him. Because he, you know, he, he gets flustered easy. Like, something like that can just ruin his whole day. And I'm just like, hmm, our refrigerator's broke. Great. Um, I told him, I was like, well, I always think about the worst case scenario. And I said, the worst case scenario is we need to buy a new fridge. Um, you know. And although we probably don't have the funds to buy a new fridge like right now we have a place to get the funds if that makes sense like we have a home equity loan like if we needed to we could go and borrow the money from the bank and pay it back we have that option so it's not like oh we just don't have a fridge we got to go dig a hole in the backyard and bury our stuff <laughs> no um you know we have the option that if worst case scenario we need to go buy a new fridge we can um, although we choose not to because we we don't um, we don't we're not in debt if that makes I mean we're in debt we owe on our house obviously and I'm still paying on this embroidery machine but we don't um, like we don't have car payments we usually try to buy our cars you know straight out um, and we don't do credit cards and we don't charge a bunch of stuff anyway um so right now i need to make these straps for this or these tutus that i have to make that go with orders i'm just gonna set this thread out of my way because you're on my sewing machine get off my sewing machine no um i have this ribbon trim right here that i was making yesterday i put all of the ribbons on it but um, I still had, I had to put it on the elastic, which I didn't have any elastic, so. And I didn't have any pink, um, thread, because it goes with a Peppa Pig, actually. And so I didn't have any pink to make Peppa Pig. And plus they ordered, like, on a Saturday, so it would ship out. Technically on a Monday, because I don't ship Saturdays, but, um, I might... I don't know what I'm doing yet. Oh, and tomorrow is a um, convention or a toy show or some toy show, I think it is. And my husband, a while back in the spring, he won a VIP 
pass to go to this and to um, meet uh, Buck Rogers, what's his name? Gil Gerard. And I don't even, whatever, you know, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know who these people are. Mm, I'm not into that. But anyway, so he's very excited because him and Sterling both like, they watched Buck Rogers together. And so she knows all about it. He knows all about it. And that's their thing. Um, so we got that going on tomorrow. And the refrigerator's out. And I have to get this onesie for this order. And I got to make this order. And I couldn't find it. And yeah. Um, <coughs> so I got my thread in today. I got that vinyl, which is good. I need more glitter vinyl as well, which I need to order some of the rainbow and I need, I need to, I'm okay on this turquoise. I mean, I can use this turquoise. I just choose not to. I just wish the other place would get it in stock, the micro world. Um, I have to finish several orders. I got to go to the post office and I got to feed Journey, so. I'm gonna make these straps for my tutus, go upstairs, set her up to feed her lunch. She's just gonna have some ramen noodles because we don't have a refrigerator. Um, she'll have to drink. I don't know what she'll drink, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> she'll just have to drink water out of the spigot. I mean, we don't have anything cold. I don't have any juice. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go get a tea after I go to the post office. So I ordered onesies online and they had them. So I'm here to pick them up.